I praise and thank God for this beautiful morning that God has given in each one of our lives. For today's morning meditation, let's open our Bibles to James chapter 3 verse 16. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for this new day that you have given in each one of our lives, Lord Father. Lord, thank you, Lord, for the words that you have given, Lord Jesus. Help us to understand the word. Holy Spirit, help us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the sisters. So when we read this word, it doesn't take much of watching the news or browsing through social media before you hear of some story where someone has been killed or there is some group opposing the other or some other crime every day right humility is a lost art and racial tensions are dividing our nations and our world we are facing it we are facing it and let's face it right a world has become a despot of disorder and evil of every kind. When we read James 3.16, it explains why this occurs every single day. This verse says, for whatever there is jealous and selfish ambition, there you will find disorder and evil of every kind. Jealousy, selfish ambition. Do you know what? Is a root of jealousy and selfish ambition. Me, you, and the root problem of me and you is sin. Praise the Lord. There are certain character traits that are earthly, fleshly, sensual, and demonic, and there are those that are heavenly, spiritual, holy, and godly. Only those that are born again believers who walk in spirit and truth are enabled to display the good and godly attributes that come from above through the power of the indwelling Holy Spirit. Amen. Both unsaved sinners and carnal Christians who carry out the works of the flesh can display the ungodly characteristics associated with envy, jealousy, selfish ambition, and the pride of life which manifest in disorder and every evil thing. Throughout his writings, we find James comparing and contrasting the good with the evil, the holy with the sanitic, the wise with the foolish, the sinner with the saint, and the stable man with the one who is tossed about by every wind of doctrine. Hallelujah. Through this epistle, the Apostle John James is seeking to direct us in the way of wisdom and peace, together with humility, goodness and grace, while he desires to warn us against foolishness and hostility, selfish ambition and every evil thing in our lives. The ministry of a child of God can be ruined when he seeks earthly wisdom from the well of fallen humanity, right? The wisdom of this world is foolishness with God and comes to naught. The beliefs, the theories of fallen men and the flawed principles of this world system are not according to Christ. Men have rejected true wisdom in the person and work of the Jesus Christ and have chosen to live their lives according to their own perceived intelligence which results in jealousy, envy, ambition, strife and every kind of evil work. Today morning my friends, may we seek after the wisdom that comes from God which is a pure wisdom in thought, word and deed. Submit yourselves in the presence of God. May we strive after the wisdom from above which is first pure then peaceful, gentle, 
and reasonable, full of mercy and good fruits, unwearing and without hypocrisy. Amen. With that thought, let's submit ourselves in the presence of God and get that wisdom from God, not the wisdom of this world. When God is leading us in our lives, wherever we go, wherever we live, we'll be graceful, we'll be in His hand and He's leading us. That will make a big difference in each one of our lives. Say, God, please take me in your hand. Give me the heavenly wisdom, pure heart, peaceable life, gentle, obedience, full of mercy, Lord. And God will take care of that. We have to submit in His hands. With that, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, Lord, for this morning. Jesus, thank you that Jesus is the power of God and the wisdom of God and that in Him is no confusion or shifting shadows, my Lord. We know that the enemy likes to bind us up in confusing webs of lies, fear and doubt. May we resist the devil and keep our eyes focused on Jesus alone, Lord. Please help each one of us. I submit each and every brother and sister into your mighty hands, Lord. Bless them, guide them, lead them forward this whole day, Lord. Let your name be glorified. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Amen. May God bless you, my brothers and sisters. Ajis is coming very soon. Maranatham.